Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. I've just spent a week in the UAE, more specifically Dubai and Abu Dhabi, and I'll share with you my experience of the attractions I visited and my thoughts on them. I will also share with you my own footage. Hopefully this will let you create your own itinerary and you can decide what you want to visit and when. This video is not sponsored in any way, so I'll tell you my own honest views. If you find my videos helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into it. The first place you will likely visit is the Dubai Mall. This place is huge with a wide selection of shops and restaurants, including many famous Western brands. There's also a cinema with the latest Hollywood, Bollywood and Arabic films. There were also some Korean and Japanese anime films on show. There's also a Walmart store where you can buy groceries and the mall has recently been expanded to include a Chinatown and an extensive food court. There is a taxi rank and access to the metro and bus station, making the mall easy to access. However, prices here are not what I would call cheap. It's not as expensive as central London, but more expensive than your average retail mall. Just outside the mall is the dancing fountain where you can experience shows where the fountain is synchronized to music every evening. There is also a boat ride available around the area. Attached to the mall is the Burj Khalifa and you can access the higher levels for an entrance fee. There are three different levels to this and I decided to go for the highest, called the lounge, at levels 152, 153 and 154. Included is access to refreshments and food. You will have a butler on hand to help guide you around. The views from the terrace here are amazing and it's a great place to chill out for a few hours. Also in the Dubai Mall are the Dubai Aquarium and Underwater Zoo. Part of the aquarium is visible externally from the mall without an entrance fee but you must pay an admission fee to get up close. However, the real action is in the underwater zoo, which is not visible from the outside. This is a fantastic recreation of a marine environment where you can see marine life, including crocodiles. There's also exotic birds and an Arctic center where you can see penguins. Staying on marine life, you must visit SeaWorld on Yaz Island in Abu Dhabi. This is much bigger than the Dubai underwater zoo, and you can walk with the penguins in the cold open air as well as see them through a gallery. Several other marine habitats are created and you can see walrus, seals and otters up close. The level of realism is unreal and this is a must visit for anyone interested in the animal world. The park is completely enclosed and air conditioned for visits all year round. Still in Abu Dhabi is Warner Brothers World theme park. Regular shows will feature your favourite Marvel characters and faithfully recreating environments of Gotham City the Flintstones and Looney Tunes. Again, the level of realism is unreal. The area has several rides ranging from gentle to those that spin you around with graphics, wind and smell effects to keep things real. Finally, in Abu Dhabi, you have Ferrari World. Again, this is a predominantly indoor theme park with several rides based on the famous Italian car manufacturer. Some of these rides are extreme and not for the faint hearted with twists and turns at high speed. However, some were closed in the summer and some performances were unavailable. If you plan to visit Ferrari World, check out what rides are operating before booking. Coming back to Dubai, the next attraction I recommend you visit is Green Planet Dubai. This is a recreation of a tropical forest. You can get close to several exotic birds and wildlife and see some marine life here. There's also a section in the dark with owls and reptiles. As with many of these attractions, you can have a photographer take some photos for you with a green screen to take home. Next on the list is the Museum of the Future, which is in this fantastic looking building covered in Arabic calligraphy. You will need to book a set time slot with this museum, so I strongly recommend you book in advance. Your virtual journey starts with you going into space on a virtual spaceship and then touring a virtual space station. There are lots of interactive features that you can activate and engage using your wristband. You are then sent back to the Earth and experience Dubai of the future, followed by an exhibition of future technology. You can also stand on the balcony of this attraction and take some stunning photos. The photographer is also available here and the virtual photos are fantastic. You can also visit the smaller but slightly cheaper Emirates Mall. Here there is a selection of shops, restaurants and also a cinema. However, the main attraction here is the Ski Dubai attraction, 
featuring a realistic indoor recreation of a winter world. This is a great attraction for those wanting to experience a cold winter environment. Down at the Dubai Marina, you can book a boat ride across the shores of Dubai. You can charter a boat from several companies and tours are available as a group or in a private group. You can choose a traditional Dao as well as a more modern boat. Food can be included and you can choose from sunrise, sunset and night cruises. Boats can include an indoor air conditioning section and an outdoor deck. So please check with the provider if the heat is too much for you in the summer. Also, you will find multiple tour operators offering desert safari tours in the evening. These usually include dune bashing in a 4x4 vehicle, a desert dinner and entertainment. Some can also include other activities such as camel riding and falconry. You should choose a reputable provider for this service. These desert safari tours during the summer and the winter, but the option for an overnight safari may not be available in the summer. Do not take this option in the summer if you cannot stand the heat, even at night. I'm going to finish here with the gold souk. Many visitors choose to come here and buy gold jewellery, as Dubai is a trusted country with a reputation for honest trade. Many of you will just marvel at the sheer amount of gold on display in the shop windows. Some of it almost chainmail armor like in size. Many other attractions are closed during the summer. If you come during the winter, I recommend the Global Village and some outdoor theme parks and museums. I hope I've given you a good idea of what you can do in the UAE. I recommend three days in Abu Dhabi and four or five days in Dubai. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are there any other places that you would recommend? Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next video.